Hopping up, throw up the sex in her. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lady Stats, and we are back with another episode of OBH The Shenanigans. So, again, what's up? What's up? Y'all watched the last two episodes, or are y'all still getting caught up? Because if you haven't watched those two episodes, then, baby, you need to exit out of this one and go to the other one. <laughs> so, as you all know, we're going to start the episode off with three captions that you can use for Instagram or whenever you want to post a picture. So today's three captions, I'm just going to go off the list. <laughs> um, if I say one that I already said, then just excuse me. Um, so the three that we're going to use is number one, high demand, but this is a rare catch. Oh, baby, because I'm in high demand, baby. So if you got my attention, you better hold on to it. Um, number two, never in my likes, but stay in my views. Because when I scroll up on that Instagram story, oh, I see your name. But you don't want to double tap. Yeah. I see you. I'm watching. This for you. Um, the third one is no navigation, but I'll show you whose turn it is. Because don't play with me. Don't play with me. Because when it's my turn, yeah. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get right into this video. So what's up y'all? What y'all think we're talking about today? Anyway, well if you don't know, if you couldn't tell by the caption, if you couldn't tell by the title, we are going to be talking about love languages. Like, first of all, what is your love language? How can someone love you in your love language? Do you have multiple love languages? Well, I'm pretty sure that's for everybody. But like, how how is your love language for others? Like, what can, what is it that you do when you know that you like someone? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it that you do? Something that I do when I start liking someone is I'm automatically a giver. I'm a gift giver. That shows that I'm into you, I like you. And it's not just about like trying to show you that I can do for you. Like, that's not that. But I like to do surprises. Like, I like to surprise you with like baskets or something. I like to surprise you with, oh, we're gonna go out, I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna take, <laughs> baby, I shut up when they be talking about uh, women don't take men out because I do. Baby, I'll take, <laughs> if I like you, we got a date and it's on me. <laughs> Something else that I, um, money. Like, I'm just a giver. Like, that's how I show that I'm into you. I would say I'm affectionate, but that's more so, like, when I'm, like, into you, into you. Like, I'm, I'm real affectionate then. But that's just, like, my love language to others. Now, my personal love language, baby, I love reassurance. I love words of affirmation. But you know what? I find it crazy because... I was reading something and somebody said if you're an overthinker then reassurance and words of affirmation is going to be your love language. Why do y'all think that is? Like why do you think for an overthinker their love language is reassurance or words of affirmation? One thing about it, two things for certain, three things for show. I'm an overthinker and I hate that I'm an overthinker because it's not just like I'm overthinking about the situation. Like I overthink everything. If you ask me a question, I'm going to be like, is this a trick question? Like, even at work, my manager be asking me questions. I'm like, is this a trick question? And he'd be like, no. Like, I'm just an overthinker. Like, I overthink everything. It don't matter what it is. Like, I'm just somebody to where if you're not straight up with what you're wanting or what you're needing or I'm an overthinker. Like, don't just be, don't just ask me something and be like, just tell me you want to take me out to eat. <laughs> or just tell me you care about me. Dang. I'm just somebody like, you have to tell me. I need to know. I need reassurance. I don't know if that stems from anything particularly. I want to know that you're into me and I want you to tell me that you're into me. Like, yeah, you can be showing me actions and I could feel like you're into me. But if you don't tell me, I'm not assuming anything. Like, I'm somebody, yeah, you can be doing everything in the world, cool. But if you don't tell me exactly that you like me, I'm not assuming anything. 
I'm not gonna assume it. And I think me not assuming anything is just like, maybe it's a guard. I never thought about, maybe that's when I put that wall up because I don't want to get my feelings hurt. I don't want to get my emotions, I don't want to be toyed with. I'm not a toy. I don't want to be toyed with. And if you don't know what that means, it just means I don't want, like you're not about to play with me. Another thing, I understand you could be doing everything in the world and you want me to pick up on it. But what do the guys say? The guys be like, oh, I, uh, we're not mind readers. Okay. I'm not a mind reader either, so tell me what it is or what it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I just don't want to get my emotions played with. And I don't want to feel like I'm into you more than you're into me. To prevent that, I'm going to put that guard up and I'm not going to assume anything. You can buy me flowers. You can. Cool. Thank you. I love it. Yeah, you can be doing this as a friend. I don't know. You haven't discussed with me that you're into me or you haven't discussed to me that you like me, so... Like, I'm really one of those type of people where they be like, oh, words don't mean nothing, actions, baby, I'm both. <laughs> baby, I'm both. Words mean a lot to me and so does actions. Like, if you're going to talk about it, I need you to be about it. I can't have you be about it and you not even, like, because what's, what's going on? We're missing something. We're missing something. Like, are y'all like this? If you're like this, comment down below. Like, reassure me that you love me. Reassure me that you want me. Keep doing the things you did to get me to keep me I'm that type of girl yeah I don't want to hear no oh I got you so it is what it and that was that was really a case before wow we're not getting into that because last time we got into that in these other videos and I had to edit like five minutes out <laughs> let's talk about the other love language so like physical touch <sighs> I'm a little iffy about physical touch. Yeah, you can touch me and stuff, but at, at the same time, like, don't be just, some stuff is just a little cringe. Don't be sitting here just rubbing on me. That's cool. That's, that's cool. But just know I'm cringing on the inside. Cringing. Like, or I don't like when people give me a hug and they want to like, don't do that. Don't, just give me a hug and keep it moving. Like, like, don't, I mean, just, just, just give me a tight hug. Just give me a tight hug. That's all I need. Just give me a tight hug. You don't got to go the extra mile and start rubbing and stuff like that. What's another love language? We already talked about gift giving, uh, reassurance. Because that goes along with words of affirmation. Let's see, let me look up the other love languages. Um, oh, quality time. Quality time. I love me some quality time. Now, I don't know if that might be my top two. Like, quality time and reassurance slash words of affirmation. I think those two, to me, mean a lot because I'm a lover girl. I'm a lover girl. I like spending quality time. I'm a real intimate type of, like, I like intimate spaces. Like, I want to be intimate. And you know what I'm saying? And quality time when it's just, like, me and you, we can be just sitting in a car in a parking lot, and I'm okay with it. I'm happy. Like, that makes me smile. You could, hey, you want to ride with me? Yes, baby. Like, what, what, what shoes? Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? You want to come with me to go get something? Yes. I want to. Like, and it's not even about what we're going to do, but it's more so about the ride there. That's bonding time. That to me is bonding time. And I love bonding time wholeheartedly. Like I'm real intimate. Like I love quality time. That quality time comes with bonding, comes with learning people, comes with learning yourself, comes to, you know, like it's a whole lot that I can go on and on and on about about quality time. But I love me some quality time. Although, I said in one of the other episodes, I forgot which episode it was. No, you can't come over here. <laughs> Not if I don't know you like that. But, I mean, if I'm getting to know you and we've been talking for like a good little while, then maybe you can come over. But I'll take that as quality time. We ain't got to do nothing. We can just sit here. We can chill. That's all I want, like, just to spend time with you. Like, I don't care what it is. Like, I just, I just want to be with you. We could be in the same space. You can be in my presence. We ain't got to talk. Just want to be with you. 
So I'm really big on quality time. But like I said, I think my first one is definitely words of affirmation. Then my second one, quality time. Then my third one is gift giving. Not so much like me receiving gifts, but me giving gifts because that's how I show to you that you know I'm into you I like you I can't find the words so I get speechless so to make up for that let me show you let me show you a little backwards because I want someone to tell me but yet when it comes to stuff like that for me I get a little bubbly so I gotta show you yeah it's a little backwards do you have a top two do you have a top three what is your love language what is your love language like do you have a love language for others my love language is quality time and words of affirmation but gift giving is my love language to others leave a comment down below this was just a quick little episode i just got off work so i decided to okay let me go ahead and put a video out we on a roll so why not but leave a comment down below make sure you like comment and subscribe and tell me what is your love language and do you have a love language for others? If you've been paying attention to the other previous episodes, we always end the podcast with one question. So my one question for you is, do you have a love language for others? So again, y'all know how we end the videos. In the cup with my twins, we be vibing. <laughs>